Welcome back, everyone. I'm JTXRP, and today I'm here with William Hughes, one of the creators of Zoj, uh, a great, the best meme token ever, And but it's on the XRP ledger, so of course. But uh, he has created a game called Zoj Moon Wars, and it's a community game that they've created. And I wanted to ask you, before we start the tutorial about how to get started with this, because I, I registered and I got a little bit confused, but I'm going to show you how to do all that and get started here because uh, William's going to help me out and make sure I beat everyone in the game. Right, William? Well, you'll you'll do pretty well, but I'm okay. not even beating everyone in the game. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I found the, the, a little bit intimidating, so I wanted to make a walkthrough for anyone who's trying to get started and whoever wants to participate with the Zo Zoge community uh, in this game. So tell us, before we get started, though, tell us a little bit about uh, Zoge Moon Wars and maybe how Zoge, the token, is incorporated or not incorporated with the game. Okay, yeah, awesome. So Zoj Moon Wars is a project that's been worked on by hundreds of people over a decade. Wow, right? okay. So it, it's not just me. It's not my proprietary soloistic work. This is work done by many, 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 many coders for a very long time. So um, yeah, I've just worked with it for a very long time. I'm comfortable with it from my experiences with it over the last 10 years of hosting it in various um, different forms for other things, right? So I like okay. the game. It's fun. It's evolved over the years and gotten uh, better and better. And as far as how it, how it works with Zoge as a crypto, so let's let's just nuts and bolts this thing real quick it's not an exchange it's not secure enough to be an exchange and i wouldn't put anything uh linked to zoge crypto that wasn't beyond secure right mm -hmm. and this is just because that's that's people's holdings that's real money kind of stuff so um at this time no linking but so no in-app purchases with Zoj, no nothing. Correct. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Not only is there no in-app purchases, but you you can't like you can't buy anything with fiat either. The game is straight free to play, okay. hosted by me for the Zoj community and any, anybody else in the XRP, even other crypto space. I don't care. Everybody can play, um, but I do give rewards to players based on how well zoge crypto does so um, the game does have premium content which is different types of resources okay. you do you do get this by default in the game for achievements and and doing uh like missions in space but um, i give additional amounts every time zoge goes through staking if people own some of my nfts if um, zoge crypto goes up a 0.1 decimal place in the charts it's a new set. It, I give out rewards. And this gives that, um, I guess, in a way, it gives that premium content into the community without anybody happening to pay for it. But at the same time, all these other things are doing well as a result. So everybody, though, gets the same amount and it's on an even playing field. So it's super balanced, really cool. And uh, just like a hammer, guys, utility exists in that tool but it, it doesn't exist without the human element. And what I mean is that hammer will sit there for a million years and meld with the stone like the London hammer and, be, and it did nothing. Or if a human picks it up, it becomes a tool with utility and can do something. So what I'm saying is Zoge Moon Wars is not directly linked to Zoge in that way. However, by not doing this, we improved our security we're still making it a part of it with the reward system, but at the same time, players can utilize new utilities and create new ecosystems simply by, if you were playing the game and somebody just took your planet out with their fleet and then they keep hitting you and they're suppressing you, you can say, hey, 4 million bounty, first person who takes down this guy's base. <laughs> with Zoge. Yeah. Correct, absolutely. <laughs> and cool. you know what? Somebody's gonna do it. Somebody will be more powerful and they'll turn around and go, all right, all right. <laughs> and it's ju it's just that simple just like that you create something that uh has intrinsic value that's awesome yeah so it's fun yeah it's just getting started in its first week here it's only been up you know a few days roughly well, um, uh, let, let's show the community how to register and get started with it and so maybe we can like, get some of those bounties going i'm just going to share <laughs> my screen real quick and uh We'll go from there. Oops, one second. I don't know where. There we are. 
All right, so we're here at Zoge Moon Wars. Uh, this is not a secure site. We don't have SSL on this yet. Correct. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm not too worried about SSL. And like I said, it's not a secure site. It's not something that I would link crypto to. It, I would like it to be something that's very well known to be. It has no no um, crypto in it. No addresses. No nothing. It doesn't transfer. At one point. If I get all of the code of the engine, because I did a whole bunch of it today, okay, like, I reworked a lot of it. But if everything is 100% sta stable and solid, I might outsource that kind of work. But I would definitely outsource it to a team because anybody who's so vain and naive to believe that they're going to solo something like a cryptocurrency security and mm -hmm. setting up their own exchange. That's a bad idea. Like very big multi-million dollar companies are getting hacked for having crypto on their website, right? Yeah. I'm not doing that to the community. So Gotcha. So it's SSL. They just need to hit an okay whenever they first approach the site is what I'm trying to get to. And that's not going to change, right? That's. Oh yeah. It, it's just going to stay as is. Okay. That's, yeah. that's all I was trying to get to. So if you want to register and uh, you can see, if you can go, go to my YouTube channel here, if you want to go there, by the way, which I really appreciate that. Um, but what you're going to do, obviously I don't have, I created a username and password, but if I was looking for this login button uh, or something like it for register, it's actually right here down grayed out what you do. I'm just going to click here to show everyone real quick. And you're so this is the registration page. You're going to just put in, create a username, create a password, and then create an email address, or sorry, use an email address you already have, confirm it. Uh, it's already English. You don't have to change anything there unless you want to, and then hit agree, and then hit the registration button, and you're, and you're good. Uh, we're going to go home here real quick, and I'm going to type in my username and password. Uh, uh, yeah. Send me Zoge. <laughs> That's all I could say. <laughs> so now that we're inside the game, um, this is this was a little overwhelming to me, and so this reminds me of those games where, like, you know, it's just you 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 check in with it. It does stuff over time, and uh, like any other of those zombie games I've played or that Star Trek game that says it's like Command and Conquer that's completely not and gets on mm -hmm. my last nerves but like fleet command or whatever the heck it is but um i'm kind of over overwhelmed at the options here so i see that i have some resources here up top it seems like deuterium energy crystal and metal and then i have some yeah I'm kind of overwhelmed with options at the top here like what should i do to start off uh william okay because i'm a little lost yeah, let's just let's just run through them real quick. Okay, so at the center of the screen, there are some options and some buttons there. Okay. We don't have to worry too much about main planet fields and all that stuff straight away. But what you can see there is if, if you mouse over um, what you were on before. And okay, it, here. Yeah, so you haven't selected a race yet. So okay. if you click on that and you have enough stardust. Um, Which is where? Yeah, you don't have any. So oh, okay. Unfortunately, you can't do that yet. That is part of what goes out every single time Zoge changes a decimal subposition. Stardust so, is what goes out. Okay. Well, no, Stardust, antimatter, dark matter, all of the premium stuff, oh, okay. like containers, all of it. It's super, uh, super easy to get going, but you can't do everything immediately because it would be like joining one of those pay to play games. But so not, Stardust is right here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So um, yeah, just go back to overview there. Perfect. And uh, yeah, so some of those things you won't be able to do right now, but you definitely will as soon as you get more antimatter, more stardust, more containers and stuff like that. So gotcha. yeah, and you guys can just click through that and take a look at it. But most of it is just setting up like things about your race, your empire, governmental policies, things like that. Usually you set it and forget it. Once you set it once, you already pick the stuff you want. You don't have to worry about it again and your empire's off and running. And you still don't have to worry about that until you do get the resources, so. Okay, so don't worry about those right now. What's the, what do I need to do to get started, to build my army, to, to conquer, uh, I don't right. know, Ceaseless, for example. Okay, so I can see that there's something already going on in this space because you're running a deficit in energy, which is something that you want to avoid if you're, negative in energy which is up at the top and right there oh yeah so you're negative 150 percent so 
you built some stuff, but didn't build adequate power plants. So let's go to buildings, which is in the left menu over there. And that's going to be that left side of the screen is just going to be where you're shooting around from. So okay. you're going to hop into buildings and then you're going to get your options. And at this point, it's, yeah, I clicked some of these things, but I didn't know what I was doing. So, right. So solar power plant is uh, currently your only source of power. So you're going to want to probably build a few of those. Yeah, perfect. And then you just hit build to the next level and uh, it will start queuing them up and get that going. Oh, okay, cool. Right. And then um, as soon as those come out. So build to the next level is like the build button. Correct. Yeah, okay. that'll do one. And then you can do a ticker and, and add up six of them or, you know. Gotcha. Um, robotic fact. Let's just, actually, let's just go straight through one by one here. So metal okay. mine obviously gets you more metal as you upgrade it. Crystal mine, more crystal. Deuterium. Now that is fuel for your spaceships and it can be used in a power plant deuterium power plant so okay um but that refinery will get you more deuterium solar power plant that will just make power but you you're gonna need a lot of power you're you know that type one civilization that's what you're going for so a really um advanced player is going to have a power in the multiple millions right okay yeah. so these correspond to these little ones up here correct yep. okay Gotcha. Okay. And then university over there, you're not going to be building that for a while because that's pretty high technology. Deuterium power plant, that will come pretty early. Uh, robotic factory, you're going to uh, make buildings faster, ships faster. And if you click on it, the picture of it, you'll see that it will tell you it's up it, one. What am I looking at here? Robot yeah, factory? Robot. Yep. It will tell you how much more production you're going to get in shipbuilding, defense building, and creation. And creation would be uh, structural, like okay. buildings, building. <laughs> so then, yeah, just click anywhere to get rid of that. Nanite factory is like um, a supercharged version of that robot factory. But you need, you need a lot of robot factories to get to the technology to have nanite factories. But when you're doing that, you're nano lathing and you're super awesome and you're making a whole bunch of stuff. Shipyard, pretty obvious. You make spaceships, you make a lot of them, and then you fight people in space, which is what you want to be doing. Uh, metal storage, crystal storage, deuterium storage are all super self-explanatory. Yep. Right. Just extra they, storage for those things. Yep. So if your so storage increase. is full, yeah. yeah, if your storage is full, your miners won't be producing more. So that's something to keep an eye on. Uh, research lab, the higher that you get in research lab, the more technologies you'll have available to you to research, but also the faster you will be able to research. Research so module? That, um, no, I'm just talking about research, research lab. Oh, here we go. Cool. All right. Yeah, and then um, Terraformer. So the Terraformer, the next one here, it doesn't give a great description, but that's okay. Basically, when you fill up your whole planet with um, building buildings on the usable space of it, you're going to run out of fields on your planet. Uh -huh. And a Terraformer will allow you to terraform like in, in our planet, it would be like terraforming the ocean to be able to be building on that, right? Okay. So yeah, that's what a terraformer will do. It'll give you more fields on your planet to be able to continue to build. So this is a bit more advanced and yeah, you'll get the tech to that in time. Alliance Depot, that allows you to fuel up allied ships from orbit when uh, your alliance members send ships over to help you. They can only stay so long before they run out of fuel. They'll have to go back um, if you don't have one of those after they run out. Cool. Sorry, I saw missiles and I got interested so. <laughs> so yeah missile silo when you build that you'll be able to build interplanetary missiles and uh missile defense systems for fi firing off and shooting those ones down so if your enemy doesn't believe that their fleet can break your defenses and your fleet they can fire interplanetary missiles through space at your planet trying to break down your defenses wow. before they send their fleet at you Right. So that's a thing. <laughs> and you can actually defend against it. So, yeah. Uh, resource module. That's actually super cool. If you notice metal, crystal and deuterium are all listed there. It mines all three at the same time. And that's a, a little bit of a higher tech building, but it just adds more to 
your massive income at that point. Gotcha. Um, then these modules all modify um, the respective fields. So defensive one is going to give you creation and defense defense building. So if you're building a bunch of cannons, okay, yeah, it's just going to speed it up, make it a lot faster. Military, I believe that that goes with your offensive capabilities. So yeah, shipbuilding and missiles. So if you want to be building a lot of interplanetary missiles, I don't want that. Gotcha. Yeah. And always guys, research is super important in this game. There's like a thousand plus researches. Oh my gosh. Yeah. In fact, um, let's try to find that real quick. Research is on the left, right? Yeah. But um, there is, yeah. uh, Just go see what you're able to see. And then I will find, yeah, that gear on the left side. Yep, click that one and just scroll down. Take a look at um, oh my gosh, what what is actually there? This is gonna take a while. So I'm building stuff, but what else do I need to do besides building things? Like, what's what do I need to do to truly get started? And can I see my my planet and how it's being built out? Can I rearrange the landscape? Uh, right. Move things or uh, so kind of and kind of not. Let's talk about what you can do. I guess. Um, because obviously it's not a fully graphical game, right? There are, Mm -hmm. there are some limitations in this. Um, if you go to the home, which, uh, you should be able to see if you just click on the Zoge, um, icon up there. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So this main planet right here is where you started at. Okay. It tells you its temperature, its fields. It doesn't have a moon. You can create a moon. You can create two moons if you want. And, uh, and you can literally destroy other people's uh, moons and stardust. shoot missiles from moons and all kinds of stuff. Um, but go to, um, let me see here. Yeah, go to Galaxy. It's on the left side there. And uh, oh, yep, down. Perfect. Okay, so you start in your own system. You can have like 10 colonies. So like 15, 14, 13, you can send colony ships there and land on the planets there and you will be controlling an entire another planet. Okay, how do I do that? Or can I do that yet? Not yet because you don't have the technology yet, but you definitely, uh, you do get it pretty early. So you could totally um, get that done. But uh, yeah, if you go to research, and then look for, oh no, we can't do that here yet. I need a research building, I take it? Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, you're so, so fresh in this, so. I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, research building, and through building up some of this stuff, you're, you're quickly gonna get the hang of it, but basically what you want to do is unlock as much as possible, and then get to the point where you have a hangar and you know you're building ships and you have defenses you're building cannons to protect yourself if people attack you and overall you're just advancing your empire colonizing other planets you're doing missions out in nebulas with your fleet you're exploring for dark matter with another fleet you're spying on people with your spy probes and you're gotcha. launching you know solar satellites around your planet in the I'm coming numbers. for you ceaseless of thousands ceaseless is super serious man he, he was texting <laughs> me he, he is geeking out on this hardcore so he's ready he's like i love this game i had no idea it was so cool so at first he was like eh. but once he started to play it a little bit and he realized well wait it's it's not it's not a crappy game it's actually really fun it's then not he, it's just not as intuitive to know like it doesn't walk you through like some of the uh the apps do the like here you get two stardust for doing the most simplest thing now go do this thing and like you know right yeah i i'm notoriously bad for that because i hate um the hand holding in any games i play because i played so many hardcore games growing up mm-hmm. that for me it's like i don't even think about getting a tutorial for something but a lot of people do love it so i'm glad that you want to do a video because otherwise i'd be like yeah I'm just, guys just click the buttons <laughs> yeah. but um so we'll need to, some metal miners some crystal miners deuterium solar and then you want to create a robot factory a research lab and then what um you want to just continually 
uh, keep your power at the positive. If you look up there, you've come out of it. See, now you're instead of negative 150, you're at positive 87%, which means so long as you're positive on your energy, you can just keep upgrading metal mines, crystal mines, deuterium, robotics factories, and things like that. All the while, um, you're going to be doing researches and more and more of those buildings are going to unlock. And okay. before you know it, you're going to be able to build way more stuff than you know exactly how it works. But within a couple of days, you're going to be very fluent in how it works. It's not going to be a big problem and you're going to start to get a kick out of it. But let's, let's try to focus on something fun real quick. You do have two containers up there. So let's see what happens. Go to containers on the left side there. Where are, you, where are we looking? I don't know. Uh, the left menu where you jump around every. It's in the larger set. I, I put the larger set as more important ones. Okay. You can open your two containers. You get those every time Zoge does well in the market, right? But um, that gave you a bunch of missile launchers and light cargoes. So okay. if you wanted to, you could actually start trading with other players already because you have light cargoes. So if you have a buddy, you could actually trade. But um, yeah, you have some missile launchers, so you can defend yourself already too. Okay. I, do I need to? Def how long till I need defending, or should I already need defending? Is someone just going to wipe me out? The, very unlikely, because it does take a bit of technology, and it always starts people out at the outskirts of the galaxy. So you're very like if you started in the beginning with all the other people who started in the beginning, like a couple of days ago then they are closer to the middle. They're uh, all around okay. each other, right? You're a little bit out there because we got almost 120 some odd players. So you're okay. totally fine. I, I highly doubt anybody would mess with you at all, That's but good. they could, they yeah. could come at you. <laughs> they won't though. Don't worry. <laughs> um, yeah. So then uh, just upgrading a few things, energy technology, computer technology. And uh, as you can see, that technologies can take you like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah I'm going to come back to these things. So I can see now that once I have a few things unlocked, I can start to see things being ticked. And exactly. that, that gives me an idea. But getting that start and knowing where to start, that I need to start at building. And then, you know, I'll be able to move on to, once I get some of these buildings and research done, what else unlocks? Like what's the next thing after those? Or... Um, Typically, because there's so much that you can do and so much to unlock, what people do is they mouse over something that looks cool. Mm -hmm. they, they go, well, I want good armor or I want good shield. So I want to get to shield technology. So they go over to shield technology and then they just put their mouse or their finger, they click on what are the requirements. And you can see it says uh, if you just mouse over it without clicking on it, it'll show you. You need research lab level six. And then the other thing you need is energy technology three so you know you can research on the left side energy technology so you'd get that up to three then you have to stop your research your research cannot be going on while you're upgrading your research lab okay right? so once your research lab is done being upgraded then you can go back to researching and and get that going but usually um, i like to not get into research immediately i like to Upgrade my mines, upgrade my power, get a good income coming in as quickly as possible, upgrade mm -hmm. my robotic factory nicely, and then go to re, uh, upgrading my research lab like at least six times so that it, as soon as I do hit the research, instead of seeing 15 minutes, I'm seeing like eight minutes and six minutes. Ah, oh, okay. Right? Gotcha. Yeah, because everything, as you get it bigger and more powerful, it makes more money, it operates faster, and all of those things. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate you showing me around. And I, you know, I think um, I know how to get started now. And hopefully anyone else who's starting with this will as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for showing me around. I'll uh, hopefully, if you, I'll put the links in the description below guys to this game. Uh, it'll be just right under the description of the video. And uh, I'll put a link to, to Zoge if you want to go buy uh, Zoge or um, hopefully uh, participate in it. If you want to buy some Zoge and set out a bounty. Uh, that's an option. <laughs> Maybe the community will, re will respond to that. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how this game interacts. I definitely hope that Zoge makes some, uh, makes some moves because I would love to, you know, get some more free stuff for the game. And uh, if anyone wants to team up with me against Ceaseless Zoge, let me know. 
Oh, I'm excited. I want to <laughs> see this. I want to see it because he's, he's fighting. Um, I think he's fighting someone already. He's get, he got beat up by somebody already today. Oh, okay. Good, good <laughs> yeah. to know. Good to know. Um, well, cool. Uh, well, thank you so much, William, for showing us around uh, this cool game and hosting this for not only the Zoge community but the entire crypto community. And uh, yeah. yeah, and any any other cryptos people want to come and play it by all means, like. You know, it's open to everybody and nothing costs anything. Yep. It, it's just a place where people can fight. Even if you're in another, if you're in Shiba XR Shib or something and you want to come in here and beat up on Zoge players, come on, man. It'll be fun. Yeah. So yeah, everything's cool. There's no pay to win. There's no, right. yeah, it's all just based on alliances and how you can do. And apparently you can, I'll say the only thing I guess pay to win that you just kind of incorporated is that because we have crypto, if you wanted to pay someone in crypto to, <laughs> to beat up on someone, you could do that. So, right. No, um, absolutely. It, it just adds a layer of spice, but let's think about it practically. I mean, you could also do that with money if you could get to the person, but typically you can't, whereas we're using crypto. So we've added something to that. Uh, you wouldn't have in any other way without crypto. So that just speaks to the power of crypto overall. For sure. Uh, well, I'm JTXRP. This is William, William Hughes with Zoge. And uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, put in the comments below what you think about the game. And uh, if you'd like to team up against uh, Ceaseless, I'm JTXRP in the game as well. <laughs> but I'll, I'll see you guys next time. I'm JTXRP. This is William, and we're out.